What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Daphne Singe and for those of you not familiar with the system we're going to be talking about it in a little bit here about the games that are included uh, but right off the bat I just want to talk about the controls up for a minute. So on your Xbox controller uh, everything's going to be shown on the screen and you'll see that when we go into the system. Uh, the only thing that's not shown is the big X, the big home button in the middle of the controller. That is going to bring up your menu if you want to tweak like the difficulty or anything like that. Now, if you have an arcade control panel uh, looking here at the screen, this is going to be the equivalent of button one, the A button. This B button is going to be the equivalent of button two. Your C button is going to be to uh, save states and uh, load states if the game supports it. And obviously, this will be your player one start. And uh, this button over here, if you have an X arcade joystick, is going to be uh, the same as that big X button on the Xbox controller. So that's going to bring up the menu. Um, the settings if you want to change the difficulty or anything else that is in there if you have something like the extension or any other sort of arcade control panel that is usually going to be labeled menu search special search or something similar to that all right so let's go ahead and do some gameplay here let's go down to singe And uh, as you can see here, it's basically fan-made games. So these are laser disc style games, just like Dragon's Lair. Uh, but a lot of them are newer games that uh, are fan-made. So for example, you have Alter Carbon here. You have Dragon Trainer. And these are all based on like, you know, movie scenes. And then you also have some classics like Time Traveler. Um, uh, what else you have like remastered, uh, for example, Dragon's Lair 2 is like an HD version of that. You have a sucker punch game. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. All right, let's actually get into a game here and I'll show you kind of, uh, how it works. Uh, let's try, let's try Altered Carbon. You usually have to wait a little bit for the intro to play before you can actually do anything. There we go. When you see that, you know you can start playing. Uh, everything sets for free play. So basically, if you press that A button, so your number one button, it kind of takes you through all these screens that give you some, you know, shows you the controls and it gives you tips and stuff like that. So this shows you what all the controls are on an Xbox controller. Like I said, the only thing not shown there is that big X button in the center. And I'm just pressing that button over and over again. And it just cycles through all these screens. Let me try to get back to that one controller screen. There you go. So yeah, that big X button is going to bring up the menu. So if you want to change difficulties or anything like that, everything else is shown there. Now, if you notice, everything's uh, based on keyboard keys as well. And uh, on the screen there, it was telling you that control key is basically your your action button. That is the equivalent of the A button on your on your uh, control panel. Um, now, if you were using a keyboard, for example, and you press control, it would work as well. But you don't have to worry about that. Uh, that's all been taken care of behind the scenes. But when you see it here and you see that it says control to mash uh, or double or whatever, that is the equivalent of pressing that A button. So control is the A button. So again, if you press A, it just cycles through all these different screens, just showing you all sorts of information. And this is basically how all of these games work. Um, and this shows you how to play. So again, control is the A button. And then obviously you're up, down, left and right is your joystick. Now, when you actually want to start the game, you press your player one start. And there we go. Select the difficulty. I'm going to press my A button for, uh, what is that? Easy. Okay, let's do that. And if you want to skip, it shows you in the, bo in the bottom that you can skip with the A button. And uh, there you go. I didn't do it in time, so I died. When you see two uh, buttons on the screen like that, it means you have to tap it two times quickly. There you go. So I got it this time. Pressing left, right. And these games are fun. They're very challenging, though. You have to have really quick reaction times. Oh, I screwed up. <laughs> Try it 
Try it one more time here. Yep, messed up. All right, let's try to let's try another game here. Uh, let's see. This is a good one too. This is good for kids. Let's try this one. So again, if you press the A button, it just cycles you through all these screens that show you like what to do in the games and uh, what the controls are. And some and some high scores and stuff like that. So if you notice, some moves you have to do combined. So control plus up that means the A button plus up. Um, obviously on the controller, if you're using an Xbox controller, you know you already know the controls from this first screen here. So you have your action button, which is the A button, and then everything else is to save and load and stuff like that. So we're gonna press player one start. I'm just gonna skip the scene and we're gonna get right into the action here. This one's all yours, Press left. I think they made this one a little bit easier. Since I guess they figured kids would be playing this. Smash that button, and I didn't do it quick enough. Oh, am I doing? Am I not doing it quick enough, or am I doing it too quick? Oh, there you go. Oh, guess not. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this game. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, every single game pretty much works the same uh, for something like um, what was that game that had the two buttons cliffhanger? Um, you know, you're going to be using your A button and your B button. I think your A button is going to be your feet and the B button is going to be your your arms. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. So again, you know, this was part of Daphne, but this is a remastered HD version of this game. Once again, you can go through the menus and it shows you what everything is. So you can see over here, you have your A and B buttons for hand and feet. Let's go ahead and skip this. Ah, see? Uh, so I, was, I hit A, which is hands. So, or let's see. Uh, nope. Let's try it again. Jam. There you go. Yeah, B is feet. Jam. Whoops, didn't do it in time. Jam. Got the feet. Jam. Got the feet. I think you need the hands here. There you go. And you need to press up, tells you stick. So you have these um, these tips right now. If you wanted to turn those off, which I don't know why you would, because this would be very hard if you did. But um, if you go into that uh, menu that I told you about with the settings, so on the Xbox controller, the big X button, or on your control panel, that menu button, or search, special search, whatever that's labeled. If you go in there, it brings you here. And here you can change different things like difficulty, um, you know, all sorts of things, but right here, show hints, it's set to yes. That's why it was telling me uh, when I pressed the wrong button that I needed to press the other button. If you turn that off, it would never tell you that, and you would have to just figure it out on your own. All right, let's go ahead and exit this game. And yeah, guys, that is about it. I'm just going to kind of go through here showing you all the games that are in here. And uh, that's that's the gist of it.
It's going to go quickly here. And that's it. Back out. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one.